take two. Happy Tuesday, friends. <sighs> what a day it is. What a day. What a day. Well, I am for mo the most part, for the most part, set up in my crafting, reading, whatever nook. Um, this big comfy chair that I'm sitting on that we got when we were in Washington, so we still have to steam clean it. Um, whoever had it before us was a smoker. And it is, it's gotten better with just, you know, using um, baking soda and whatnot. But right now I have a thick, clean blanket that smells like my scent beads. And I've got... <laughs> I've got dryer sheets on the seat of it under this blanket so that when I stand up, all I smell is my dryer sheets. Don't put anything past me because I'll do whatever I need to do just to sit here. So, because this chair is comfy. Um, but yeah, it has been a weekend. How was everybody's weekend? I hope you guys had a chance to go over and see my first homeschool vlog yesterday. Um, I posted that and sorry, I've got messages popping up when I'm recording a video here. Uh, I posted that and then I posted just a quick little two minute video. That was a fun one. Um, but yeah, we have had an interesting weekend. Um, as you know, any of you that live in California or any of this area out here, um, it was a hot one last week. We were literally frying. I mean, they were... News stations were testing different things out, like how, how quickly a crayon would melt in Las Vegas, Nevada. How quickly you could fry an egg on the ground in Southern California. I mean, it was just... They were doing silly shenanigans. But all seriousness, it was extremely hot. Um, at our church, I think it hit... 113 or 116 at the highest and that was without the heat index and here in our area the hottest I saw without the heat index was 106 on Friday when I got home and today it is down in the 80s it's still very humid there's a lot of fires within mm, I'd say probably an hour and a half to two and a half three hours away from us so the air is pretty cruddy um, but with the heat come those pesky little black ants and they are everywhere. I was at Target yesterday real quick for a couple of things. Actually, it was to replenish, replenish my ant spray because we buy a specific kind that's safe for pets and kids. And there were ants crawling on the shelf, the soda shelves at Target. Yeah. So we had them here. I have learned over the years of living in California how to get ahead of them. And this latest one that I learned is black pepper. Yes, your everyday cooking seasoning that you use, black pepper. Well, on Sunday, because it was so hot. I did not go to church. I watched our services online. My husband went to church on Sunday, but I, I stayed home with the little guy because his eczema also has not been doing real well with the, with the heat. And we found out the ant traps, the tarot baits that you, with the liquid, you know, you can put those on like your counter or under your surface, but out of the reach of little kids, obviously. We put one out and it seemed fine. But then nightfall came on Sunday and they were starting to come out in droves again. Now mind you, these buildings are over 20 years old, so nothing's put together right. It's like trying to put together a cardboard puzzle, you know, where they're just like interlocking and there's a lot of cracks and crevices. Well, that's how the counters are. So my daughter and I had the brilliant idea to take black pepper <laughs> And use a turkey baster. <laughs> and use a turkey baster. She got down on the ground where you could see the crack in the one cabinet, the longer one. We thought that the pepper would just 
go in there and drop down. No big deal. We did the same thing at my desk. Um, it worked. However, when she was shooting the pepper <laughs> with the turkey baster, it was shooting the pepper out the other side. So we were just... I had pepper all over the place and we were jokingly saying that we were the we were sprinkling the pepper fairy dust so yes imagine us it's hot as blazes and we're using a turkey baster to get black pepper into the crevices of the counters little did we know um when you shoot it in, it came right back out the other side of my counter. <laughs> and we were just laughing and joking about the whole thing. So just let your imagination run wild on that. But, like I told my son, I said, you just gotta find some humor in it. You really do. I've had some choice words come out of my mouth at these little pests, but so far so good. So far so good. I do have black pepper all over my apartment in different locations. That's going to be fun to clean up later. Thank goodness for powerful vacuum cleaner <laughs> and dusters. Uh, but yeah. That's that's how you combat them. They hate the smell of it. They are turned away from it. They run like mad. So, there you have it, friends. There is your laugh of the week. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, I guess you can probably imagine, with that said... I have not done much crocheting at all. It has been too hot even to put the thinnest item on my lap that I have, which is a thin three-weight yarn from Premier. Way too hot to even crochet with that. I, oh, I was just so sick all week from the heat. And then the couple of times that I did have to go out, I mean, I was the hot mess express. It was just insane. My air conditioner here in the apartment, we never turn it on, but we actually had to this time. Um, but we survived. Thank goodness Target and Michaels have air conditioning, so... Yeah. So with that, friends, uh, Whip Wednesday is going to be a little bit different tomorrow. Um, and because of what tomorrow is, September 11th, I thought we would use that as a time to just crochet and I am going to it's going to basically be a look back at when September 11th happened and yeah we're going to leave it at that but um of course my dryer if it's not my air conditioner it's my dryer I hate those buzzers. I wish I could turn it off, but you can't. On this dryer, you cannot turn the buzzer off. And I'm in the living room, and my dryer is right over there in the kitchen. Yeah. So anyways, yes, tomorrow is going to be, <clears throat> like I said, it's going to be a little bit different for Whip Wednesday, just because I have nothing to show you. Um, and I think Thrifty Thursday, I'm going to change it up this week, too, just because it's been so hot. I haven't had time. I just, my mental capacity has not been there. Um, I think Whip Wednesday, we are going to do a yarn comparison because I've been sitting on this beautiful box here for two weeks now. Yeah. We're going to get into this box real quick, friends. And what I want to do is, I think we're going to do this on Thrifty Thursday. Oops! I'm throwing my scissors. Oh, I forgot what I ordered. Oh, it's so pretty. 
is so pretty in here. Oh, I got yarn falling out. All right, so I think what we are going to do, we are going to have ourselves a yarn comparison. I had a $20 reward certificate from Michael's. Thanks to all the yarn we've been buying. Yep. That part of that yarn is going to be in another video. Uh, my daughter wants me to make a really fun granny square blanket using the fluffy yarn from Michaels. So that will be another video probably next week when I can actually get some more miles on it. Um, but I've been wanting to try this yarn here, the spice cakes from Karen. However, I did not see paying $12.99 for it at all. Um, I had a 20% off coupon for this. Plus, I had the $20 reward certificate. So, for this, a Christmas decoration for the Christmas Village. Yes, I said Christmas because their Christmas Villages are out. And we do have pieces for Christmas Village that I set up along this shelf that's behind me here. So you'll see that come um, fall and Christmas because I'm starting on my Halloween and fall one right now. Um, so this yarn, the Christmas piece, and two miniature little foam pumpkins that I have. Yeah, they're up there. I can't get them right now. Um, I paid $1.47 total out of pocket. Coupons. The little foam pumpkins were on sale for half off, so they were 50 cents a piece. Um, but like I said, I've been wanting to try this yarn because I knew I had ordered the new Premier Spice Shop yarn. And I was like, how fun would it be to compare? Because they're like, like the names are similar, right? You got Spice Cake, you got Spice Shop. The, cake, the colors in these that my Michaels had were more fall winter colors whereas to premiere has beautiful fun fun colors um so what is this color that i got for the spice cakes this is and just so you know this is a limited time yarn my michaels is already selling out quick on all the new yarns um this one is called indigo Okay, and these are a bulky six, nope, sorry, super bulky six, eight millimeter knitting needle and an eight millimeter crochet hook, which is perfect because I think the fluffy yarns are eight millimeter, and I just bought a new Clover Amore hook. I had a 40% off. Again, I, I try not to pay full price for my crafting supplies, or well, my crochet supplies because it can get expensive, um, but the day that I we bought the fluffy yarns, which was Friday. Their coupon of the day was a 40% off one item. So that's how I got my Clover and More hook for 40% off the, it was either nine or 11.99 and it was an eight millimeter hook. So, uh, so back to this beauty. This is 100% acrylic, 239 yards, machine wash and ryable, which is nice. Um, I can just tell you it does squish a little, not a lot, um, maybe just because it's packed really hard really tight um, and you can see it is a thicker yarn um, I'm not sure how I like it as far as softness or feel because um, my hands are really really dry from washing them a million times with these with this ant battle um, so I keep sticking to the yarn and that like I said that could just be my really dry skin right now from that um, but then, so let's go into my premiere order then. Um, so I think what we'll do, like I said on Thursday, is we'll take that yarn and we'll compare it with Premiere's new Spice Shop yarn. And I did pay full price for these. Um, but I figured if I, I needed to order cotton for a Christmas project, which shoot. I was going to show you the pattern and I left it at my desk. All right, well, maybe I can I can do that on, on another video when I start making it. Um, 
So this one from Premier, this is called Saffron. And as you can see, it is beautiful neon colors. I love that. Um, this is also a super bulky six. It's calling for a six and a half millimeter knitting needle and an eight millimeter crochet hook. Um, hand wash cold and lay flat to dry. That's a big kind of turn off for me right there. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, these are only 109 yards, 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So if you have a wool allergy, these will not. Sorry about that. My home phone. Yes, we still have a landline. I have been getting so many marketing and spam calls the closer we get to election time. It is ridiculous. Like five or six times a day, we are blocking a number and getting new calls. And yeah, sorry, I had to adjust my camera. So anyways, back to this yarn. If you have a wool allergy, I can tell you right off, this is not going to be for you from Premiere. This one is 100% acrylic. That We're going to go into all that, though, when we do the comparisons. Um, so there's the pattern of how this one's worked up. And I don't know if I said it before my phone started going nuts, but it's a, this is eight, the premier one is 80% acrylic and 20% wool and it's 109 yards. Um, I only bought three of them because like I said, I bought them at full price, which I think they were $6.99 a ball. So I only bought three. Um, and then these I'm not going to open because I'm not going to use these right now, but these were on, these were part of their, uh, sales. These are the premier color fusion chunkies. And this one is in the color wildflower. Just that. Um, these are a bulky five, eight millimeter knitting needle and an eight millimeter crochet hook. Machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low heat. And these are 109 yards as well and 100% acrylic. So you can see through the bag the size of the yarn. Oop, I'm throwing yarn on the floor. Yeah, there. That's a good. That's a good angle right there for how thick this is. Like I said, I don't want to open these because these are factory sealed, and I only bought these because they were on sale. I don't remember how much. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't look it up, and I'm nowhere near my computer. So I bought those, and then this is also Color Fusion Chunky in the colorway Autumn Sky, which I will be using this right away. This is gorgeous for the fall. Um, that one. I almost wish I would have ordered more of this one. This one's beautiful. But I've never ordered, this is new to me yarn. I have never ordered the Color, color Fusion Chunkies. Um, gosh, I am just loving this. There's like <clears throat> browns and oranges and reds and maybe like some purple and greens. Gosh, that is gorgeous absolute fall right there which speaking of fall before I get into the rest of my order because the rest of my order is kind of boring it's cotton yarn I talked to my son in Tennessee yesterday we talked for like an hour and 18 minutes I cooked my entire dinner while him and I were talking which I made some awesome Southwest chicken last night for dinner um, we don't buy raw chicken very often just because it's it's very pricey but we do buy it when it's buy one get one free on the packs. So I had they also had some Southwest uh, marinade that was um, on clearance where my daughter works, and so I bought that. And then I instead of doing like the thirty minute marinade, I always put it overnight. And oh my gosh, it was flake tender. It was so just falling apart, flaky. It was great. Anyway, so back to the conversation with my son. Um, he lives in Tennessee. And he was telling me about their fall plans for him and his girlfriend. And one of the things that they're going to be doing is taking this train ride um, right at the peak season of all the fall colors and everything. And I'm just, I'm so happy for him because he's like just out there living life and enjoying life and doing really good. And 
Um, so he was telling me about this train ride. He sent me uh, the link to it, like, so I could look and see what he was talking about. And there were some videos on there, and I watched the videos. Oh, it is gorgeous. If you've ever been to Tennessee, into the mountains of Tennessee, the Blue Ridge Mountains and all that, oh my goodness. Right? That is the mountain range there, right? Yes? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I've been looking at a lot of different stuff lately, but... Yeah, I'm super excited for him for that. So they're doing that. I think he said in November, which is around the end of when they do it because the snow is going to start coming. I think this train runs like May through November or something. Um, so they're doing it right towards the end of the, the train schedule for the year because they do get snow up in the mountains and all that in that part of Tennessee. So I'm super excited, but we had a great conversation. Um... It was really good catching up with him. I can't believe it's already been... We are just a couple of weeks away, and it's going to be a year since we moved him out to Tennessee. Already. It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, so the rest of my yarn in here is literally just... So... These are all the white. These are all the um, Premier Home Cotton. The, the cones are 700 yards, and each little ball here is 131 yards, and I have six of these and one of the cones, and they are 85% cotton and 15% polyester. Um, they are a medium four, five millimeter knitting needle and a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low. Um, and of course, like I said, these are just white. And then I also bought them in, hold on, and then I also bought in this cream color, same, same thing, um, six skeins, one cone. Um, when I bought all the cotton yarns, they were on sale. Uh, I don't remember again how much I paid for them. I don't, it wasn't, it wasn't that much. Because as you know, these little cotton yarns are less than $2 a piece anyway. Um, so what those are going to be for is I am doing, and I'm sorry if I keep going off camera. I'm trying to put all the yarn back in this box before I completely forget and it gets into the wrong hands of like a cat. Um, I guess in that case it'd be a paw, right? Uh, so what I'm doing, oh, we're at 22 minutes already. Wow. I'm just chatty, chatty today. I am making table runners that are snowflake table runners. Um, and I'm going to use those as gifts for a couple of different people. That's why I bought so much cotton yarn. Um, you can make them as big or as small. It tells you how you can in the, I almost said the recipe. In the pattern, it tells you how you can uh, customize it to the size table that you want it. So I think I'll just make it according to the pattern, and then they can just, whoever receives it can use it, um, like as a centerpiece or something, you know, a statement piece. Uh, and then I'm thinking about, and notice I just said thinking because I've never done this. I have some, like, sparkle thread that I ordered from Premiere. I know that's not what it's called. I just, my brain is not... Anyways, I'm thinking about taking that and running it with the cotton yarn on one, just one of the table runners to see how it comes out. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because um, I have that in gold and in silver. Or is it a metallic? Like a rainbow. I don't remember. I ordered it so long ago because I, need, I wanted free shipping and I was just like $10 away. So I just threw that stuff in there. But... Anyways, yeah, so that is my life update for the week. Um, kind of have an idea what's going to go on for the rest of this week. Uh, so like I said, tomorrow we're going to kind of just crochet and chat instead of doing a Whip Wednesday just because I have nothing to show you. Um, Thursday, instead of doing Thrifty Thursday, we are going to do a yarn comparison and on Friday, I'm thinking we are going to get into the big anniversary cakes. 
and work those up because I know one of the big issues with people was that they are kind of splitty or they appear to be kind of splitty. So I think that's what we're going to do for the rest of the week. Um, as you see, I'm going to try, I'm going to get videos up each day this week. I'm not going to be able to do that every week because homeschool is starting to pick up a lot. So, um, yeah, so that's where we are friends. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or week or whenever you're watching this. Um, and I want to just say thank you so much to all my subscribers, new, old, however long you've been here. I have been noticing my subscribers are going up, especially since I posted my homeschool vlog yesterday. Um, I am just, I, I, words cannot express how grateful I am for each and every one of you. Um, you clicking that like button, that notification bell, commenting, um, watching my videos, that is really going to help this channel out a lot, friends. Um, I'm excited to see where this channel is going to go. Sorry, another notification. <laughs> Um, but yes, I am really excited to see where this channel is going to go in the coming months. Um, I just, I see great things happening and it's because of you friends, all because of you. Um, so with that, I'm going to let you all go. I need to try and get some homeschool stuff done. Yesterday was kind of a rough day. My little guy wasn't feeling good. So... We need to try and play some catch up. Um, we are in the last week of the homeschool, not the last week of the homeschool, the last week of the learning period, meaning we are in the last week of month one of school. So I have a lot of paperwork to do on my computer and stuff like that. I think I explained that all in the homeschool vlog at the end of the video. So, yep. So my week's going to be busy. It's going to be fun. I'm going to spend some time with you guys. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just roll on with it. Right, friends? All right. Well, I'm going to jump off of here. I know I've said that a couple other times, but I am going to, I'm going for this, for good this time <laughs> for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Get your crochet project ready and a drink and we'll sit down and chat tomorrow. Um, might need a box of Kleenex for it too. Um, 9-11 is held dearly into my heart, so... With that said, friends, I am running away into the land of homeschool. I love you all. God loves you. Remember to be kind to one another. And I will see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.